Francisco all night, all day. Shane O'Neill shaking his head over there. He knows his man Yuto is in trouble. Everybody is in trouble. Eu tinha andado de skate quando o meu tio no Natal, quando tinha 5 anos, deu-me um, um skate. Começámos a andar de skate logo no dia seguinte e basicamente desde esse dia nunca mais esperámos, nem eu nem o meu irmão, nunca mais esperámos andar de skate. Não havendo apoio das marcas e dos patrocinadores eh, ao nível de, de, de verba para, para as deslocações e, e para as necessidades financeiras que eles têm, é muito complicado, porque eles já estão num nível que têm que ir lá para fora para fazer eh, campeonatos, eh, têm que estar lá fora ao pé dos do outros minutos e uma deslocação ao exterior são 2, 3 mil euros cada vez que se sai, eh, se eles fizerem 3, 4 deslocações por ano, é muito bom. Eu fui campeão da Europa uh, uh, em 2010, uh, fiquei em primeiro lugar, sub-10. Uh, eu fiquei em terceiro e ganhei muitas vezes em um ano nacional. Eu lembro de estar lá e dizer, tipo, eu sou uma mina europeia, isso é diferente. Eu acho que eu fiquei muito bem saída em que eles chegaram. E dizia ao mãe, eu quero viajar, eu quero sair de Portugal, eu quero ficar em Portugal os dois, eu quero ir para os Estados Unidos, eu quero passear, eu quero viver no My bro used to win every contest. Uh, I was get like maybe fourth or third or second. And then I remember when I was like maybe 13, I went to LA with my bro for Volcomon in the parks and I get second on, on this contest. I was like, damn, this is actually sick.
And I remember like me, like with 14, just go just by myself to LA for like three months. Didn't know nobody, didn't talk nothing of English. It was like really hard for me in the beginning. This was a, a really good moment to, to start learning more about life, about what I need to do to get better. So I remember like came to Portugal, I started skating, 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 skating. I remember go to the skate park and do like a hundred flip front bars. This afternoon I need to learn these three tricks. If I didn't learn, I was get like really mad and really sad. I would went home and just cry all night because I don't learn, like I didn't learn a new trick. Like feel bad talk about this, but it's who I am. So like three months before 10 p.m., I started like practice like every every morning, every day. Sometimes I was going to the skate park before school, even early in the morning, and then I was going again to the skate park uh, when I was finished. I remember like watching all the 10 p.m.s on YouTube every day, repeat and repeat and repeat. Every day the same contest, study everything, you know? You don't want to copy it, you have a look for the and he put like all the photos and tried to do like, okay, this is my run. I, I start from here. Like I was like, I'm gonna win some by I'm gonna win some by I'm gonna win some by I put this in my mind. I was saying to everyone, yo, I'm gonna win some by All my friends know this. All the way to Portugal, skate the DC Shoes, the art, and the best skate shop, Gustavo Rivera. On the hot. And I was telling every day to my mom, Mom, if I win Thump, I am, I'm gonna finish my school. Like, I'm not going anymore to the school. Four, he wants four, check it out. And I went there and I won. Two skaters from Portugal here in the finals. Gustavo's one of them. Look at those shots. He got a twin brother too. Take him out. Woo! That was awesome. He did what? Like 10 tricks and they were all. Four of them were insane. And since that day, I was thinking like, if I put something in my mind and if I work for this, I can do it. Vais fazer o Pro Open da SLS. Um, como é que isso está? Eu sinceramente ainda não acredito, eu só vou acreditar quando 
que tiver a acontecer no meio. E agora imagina que tipo davas na Power Nigel no primeiro. <risos> Isso é demasiado bom. Pá, não sei, podia estar no Power Nigel. Pode acontecer, tudo pode acontecer. Tudo pode acontecer a partir de uma determinada altura, não é? Pois. Já não há limites para o sonho. A homenagem ganhou o primeiro ciclo com 16. Eu já, eu, eu já vou entrar com 17, mas yeah. nada é impossível. Nada é impossível. The winner of Tampa Am 2017 out of Lisbon, Portugal, Gustavo Ribeiro. This is the kid we've got our eyes on. He is a good skateboarder. He is out of this world. He has a very quick feet, very quick feet, very technical, good ball control. He's definitely a trickster. But he's also young, Look at very that. young too. He's got a lot of years to progress and mature skateboarding. 7.7. That right there is the highest run score of the day by far. Those are the level of tricks that we need to be seeing if you want to make it into the semi-finals and into the finals of SLS. 8.1, and that score is good enough to boost Gustavo Rivero into the lead with a 28.1 overall score. Two full points higher than Vincent Milou from heat number one. Wow. And that was our first score of an eight or higher. So yeah. unless heats three, four, and five are just absolutely insane, we can expect to see Gustavo Ribeiro skating tomorrow. There are four non-SLS pros here in the finals. They came through qualifiers, they came through prelims, and they made it this far. Now, there's two open spots into Street League, and it's up for grabs. Four skaters, two spots. Which of the guys do you think might grab it? You know what? Gustavo Riviero showed really well. I think he has a good shot. He has an unconventional approach, not having much strategy in the game. So he's throwing out bangers in the very beginning of the best trick section, rather than waiting till the end. There's your new SLS rookie, Vincent Malou out of France. He's sticking around. We're going to see him in Los Angeles. Here we go, Gustavo Rivero. Trent McClung, congratulations. He is a new SLS rookie pro. E tanto os seus meninos têm sido várias rotas. Eu tenho bastantes derrotas na minha carreira. Mas não há um vencedor que não tenha derrotas. Aliás, é das derrotas que advêm os grandes vencedores.
It was gonna get this far with skateboarding, you know. It's like an 18 year old getting second to street in just turned pro a week ago. How old is this kid? You know, I, I want to say 15, but I think he's 16 now. Gustavo has to be 16. Doesn't Just really matter. He is 16 amazing, years old. Amazing skating, man. Like, 16 years old is phenomenal. We're thinking Trey Flip nose grind on that hubba right there. Trey Flip nose grind on that hubba? Yeah. Trey Flip nose grind on this hubba right here. That's how it makes sense. <laughs> Is there, is there a backpack? This 18 year old opening a lot of eyes here earlier today. That's tomorrow pro situation. I mean, look at the move. A, a bigger flip, front board, in a contest that you've never been in with some heavy action going down already. I mean, the nerves are through the roof. Back to the top of the order, fifth and final try. Gustavo Rivero, he needs this, Whoa. and he got it! Trey flip nose grind with one go left. That is unbelievable. He had to make a trick, any trick. Imagine having that trick on lock, that you can do it on a hubba with one go left, and all these people watching. Unbelievable. Oh, and that's it! Does it again! Jagger eating up on top. Gustavo Rivera needs a 9.3. Oh, he doesn't get it! The only one who can change the current leaderboard. He needs a 9-1. He can do it, but will he? Oh, he does it! Wow! Flip nose one is that? Wow, and he wanted that. He wanted that. Well, the judges are going to decide right now. We're about to find out where this is headed. 9.4! Whoa! Gustavo Ribeiro is now up in the top spot with a 27.6. Nigel. Nigel now needs a 9.4 to get into first. This is it. Now I need to win because I already got third place. I already got second place. Now I need to get the first place. It all comes down to this. And he oh, doesn't oh. do it. Gustavo Ribeiro is our winner. Now it is a fish.
Mitchell. Gustavo Ibero wins the Dew Tour Des Moines 2022. I'm super stoked because last year I dislocated the shoulder in this row and uh, after a year I can get the win, so thank you. He came back, he came back and got it all back this year. Gustavo Ribeiro, leader. Get! Get! Amano! He's relentless! It is going to be tough to beat Gustavo. It may be impossible at this point. Second SLS win all time here in Las Vegas. You know, we were talking about people that pack in tricks and people that do tech tricks, and he packed in a bunch of tech tricks. That run might have been one of the best runs ever wow. in a street league. That run was nuts. Last month's winner, two-time SLS winner, Gustavo Ribeiro from Portugal, has one last try. A 9.2 puts him in first and will crown him the Super Crown champ. You've won street leagues in the past, but what does this victory here at the Super Crown mean to you? I mean, it means all the hard work that I put before. Uh, finally, I can say that I'm a world champion. Never thought that too soon I would be one, and uh, just never, just for always focus on your dreams and uh, believe in yourself, because if your mind says that you can, bro, no one else can say that you can't. Only you say that you're going to do it. Truer words have never been spoken. Our 2022 world champion. <laughs>